the producers and director of a new film called Heart for the Game. First, I want to introduce the director of the film. This is all part of our segment on Tuesdays we call Our Neighbors in Business, brought to you by North Star Bank. And the, and the director of Heart for the Game is Robert Coleus from Video Farm Productions. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, How are you? Thank you very much well, for having us on. It's a pleasure, and I uh, can't wait to see this film, and congratulations. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you there. G- yeah, good to have you down here. And also joining us, the two producers of the film, the husband and wife team of Carrie and Teresa Plank. Carrie, Teresa, good morning. How are you good two morning. today? Good morning. Good to have you both down here. Well, why don't we start with you, Carrie? To tell us uh, about the film and what it's all about, for those who might not be familiar with the, this, uh, this sports team, which really made huge news back in the day. What's it all about? Well, I just ask your listeners, just think about a moment in your life when, when you had an experience that invoked so much emotion and energy you know, that you wanted to, to capture that and document it yeah. and, then, and then, you know, show it to people, show it to the world. Um, and, and so that, that's what this film is about for me and for the members of this team and the coaches in the community is taking uh, what happened in that very special season for us in 1991, uh, baseball season for Chelsea High School, and and basically telling the story to uh, to people that don't know about it. And yeah, what is what is the story for people who have no idea what the team accomplished back then? What what you do? So the the team uh, we won the state championship that year in Class B, and uh, it was it was just a very special team. Uh, we were able to to uh, win a lot of games with last minute comes back comebacks. We mm-hmm. had some uh, great players on that team, uh, great coaches, and, and um, what was your position on the team? I was a shortstop on the team. Oh, yeah, gosh. so yeah. the memory still fresh and so strong that they made you be a producer of a movie and well, it, <laughs> compelled you to make this film with your <laughs> wife. It's amazing that you know here we are, 26 years later, and the memories are so fresh. And, you know, I knew that I thought about these things uh, about what happened in that season, what the coaches taught to us, uh, you know, on a daily basis. But what I didn't know is how other people would uh, would respond. And Carrie, Absolutely. And Robert, well, let's yeah. turn to you. How did you get involved with this film? And tell us more about Video Farm Productions, your so, company, too. Video Farm is a uh, video production company that I started with my wife. And, uh, Where are you located? Where are you? Uh, we're in Pinckney, Michigan. Oh, okay. But I grew up, I'm a born and bred Chelsea Bulldog, uh-huh, and went uh-huh. to school, <laughs> high school, with, uh, with these guys here. So we met up uh, to try to talk about a commercial that was going to sponsor their, uh, their company. And uh, commercials didn't quite work out. I, I told them that I was uh, pretty involved in uh, documentaries, and recently uh, ESPN's 30 by 30 series, I was getting really more and more infatuated by that. Well, that's a great series. Oh, it's yeah. wonderful. It's wonderful. Mm-hmm. Um, so what happened is this kind of set the light bulb off in Carrie's mind. He's like, well, I've been having this idea that I've had for a long time about capturing uh, the 1991 series of a uh, season. Would you be interested in that? And, and um, I didn't think anyone would really remember uh, the 91 season as much. But as we went along on these interviews, uh, it was fascinating for me to to uh, to be sitting down with these players, these parents, these fans uh, of the game, and how much they could remember. A, a good example is uh, the catcher, uh, Adam Taylor, who's now the varsity coach. He could remember the weather in each of these games. He could say, yeah, the, the regional finals, it was a really horrible you know, weather day. It was drizzly. I mean, I can't even remember my wife's birthday half the time. <laughs> this guy can remember the weather. The weather. Right? Yeah. And that's how important it is to them. This is how sure. much it, it, it sticks in their mind. Who's some of the prominent folks, so some of the people who are featured in the film who you talk to? And, and is, is there footage from, from, the, from the team from 1991? Is there old movie footage? Yeah, yeah. unbelievably, a lot of people had VHS tapes Ooh, of this cool. game. So, so you have, do have some of that footage? We have about three different camera angles of the final game, and we have uh, we we dedicated a Facebook page to the heart of the game, and uh, the people who joined that started throwing in photos. Um, little bits of video, things that we could use. So it was really like a collaborative movement to make this movie. Carrie, talk about the the premiere screening of uh, Heart for the Game. When, when and where? Give us all the details, please. So that's going to be uh, this Saturday evening uh, at 7 p.m. Uh, it's going to be a fundraiser for yeah. the Chelsea Athletic Boosters. And uh, so the doors are going to open at 6. We have some entertainment uh, lined up, uh, and we're, we've rented a red carpet. So... You know, bring your uh, bring your family, uh, bring your friends to walk the red carpet at Chelsea High School. 
um, where the screening will take place at 7 p.m. And uh, our uh, former coach and athletic director at Chelsea, uh, Wayne Welton, who is currently the director of baseball operations at, at University of Michigan, he will be there to uh, kind of give a little introduction about the film and, and what that season meant to him. And then uh, we'll, we'll roll the film. Trace, I want to get you uh, to the microphone to talk about some of the uh, challenges and issues and what it was like uh, as, I assume, a first-time film producer here. What were some of the things, you know, putting a film (laughs) together like this? This is not an easy project. I went to film school uh, back in the Paleolithic era (laughs) at the University of Michigan. There's a lot to this. There is, and uh, I'll tell a funny story. (laughs) Yeah, please, please. We ended up in Florida to do a couple of the interviews. Oh, uh (laughs) uh-huh. And Rob sends us with his equipment. Oh, right. And Video camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm in charge of the equipment that day. So needless to say, I, I should have gone to film school. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Was, she didn't well, do that. It was, tough. Didn't do bad. it was tough. I had no clue. And, you know, you panic. You're you have one chance to yeah. do this. Here you go. Uh-huh. Um, just a small amount of time. Short window there. And if yeah. you don't get it, you don't get it. And I think I got it enough but man, it was tough. I I came home and I said, "Hats off!" <laughs> I give the the equipment back to you, Rob, because this is harder than I ever you imagined. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> That's right. The film is uh, called Heart for the Game. Can people get more information on Facebook online? How, how do people get more details, uh, Carrie? Well, they can find us on Facebook okay. at uh, 1991 State Champs and also on Twitter at 1991 State Champs. 1991 State Champs. It's actually Heart of the Game. <laughs> All and, right. Yeah, Heart for the Game. Heart for the Game. Our guest this morning, uh, part of our Neighbors in Business segment made possible by North Star Bank uh, from Video Farm Productions, Robert Coley is the director of Heart for the Game and the producers of the film as well, Teresa Plank, Carrie Plank. I know you're going to have a packed house this weekend. Thank you Ooh, so much for so. joining us and <laughs> congratulations on the film. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Mark. Right, thank appreciate you. it. Good to have you down here. We've got Cage the Elephant and then Traffic 107.